Time to change the paradigm and grow up. Good morning, afternoon, evening or night, wherever you are. Awesome ambassadors of light, love, healing, trust and redemption. With the attitude of abandoned gratitude, powerful souls and high vibes human beings with infinite potential, quantum leapers into unknown, ushering Geula right here, right now. Worthy announcers of the most joyous news ever to hit the planet. The announcements of redemption of King Mashiach, also known as Lubavitcher Rebbe, the messenger from God and the prophet of our generation. To silence the static in your head, become aware of your body by touching your heart, start focusing on your breathing, and let's enter into and access here and now. Exhale deeply and forcefully. <sighs> Inhale slowly and gently. And exhale slowly and deeply with gratitude to Almighty. <sighs> Dear and loving God, Thank you for granting me the serenity to accept Gula redemption here and now as the only true reality, for giving me the courage to change my Galut exile duplicity mindset to Gula unity consciousness, and the wisdom to know how to publicize this truth of unfolding redemption to the world, as the prophet of our generation, King Mashiach Lubavitch Rebbe, instructed. Currently, we're in the Hebrew month of Elul, in which exactly 31 years ago on this Shabbat, King Mashiach Lubavitcher Rebbe announced that the acronym for that year, 5751, from the beginning of creation, formed the word Tinasei, which has the dual meaning of you shall be exalted and you shall be married, in command form. This is relevant both to the revelation and coming of Mashiach, who shall be exalted very high, and to the marriage of the Jewish people and God that will take place in the days of Mashiach. The latter concept is raised because the name of the month, Elu, is a Hebrew acronym for I am for my beloved and my beloved is mine, Ani le dodi vadodi li, end of quote. Two months later, King Mashiach announced that we are at the time when all obstacles and hindrances have been nullified. Since this, since this is so, there is now not just the existence of Mashiach, but also the revelation of Mashiach. End of quote. The commandment, you shall be exalted, was fulfilled. And in one month, one more month, Another joyous announcement came out. In these times, the days of Mashiach, in which we now find ourselves, we only need to open the eyes, then we will see that the true and complete redemption already exists, in a simple sense. All the Jewish people, with our youth and our aged, with our sons and our daughters, are prepared in every single detail, last detail to approach and sit at the table prepared with every delicacy and delight, beginning with those of the redemption, Leviathan, the great fish, Shor Habor, the great ox, and Yain Meshumar, the aged wine. Also the Jewish people are ready for the most important thing, to know God. End of quote. The end is wedged into the beginning. This cosmic marriage was the primary reason for the whole creation, and its joyous culmination is the Jewish people being intimate with God Himself. That's why the Prophet says they are ready for the most important thing, to know God. Just like Adam knew Chava, Eve, when they became one flesh. It's time to change the paradigm from being God's little children to becoming his chosen bride, it's time to grow up. And in case people think it's just an allegory and that's not what the quote really means, in that same week 
the same King Mashiach made another very similar but stronger announcement. In these days, we really only need to open the eyes and to see the existence in actual reality, that we are sitting together with the Holy One, blessed be He, Israel and the Holy One, blessed be He, are all together one, at the prepared table for the wedding feast, the feast of Eli Leviathan, Shor Habor and Yain Meshumar. That is to say, not only is the divine service completed and the revelation needs to be brought into the world, but more than this, that it already is actually revealed. All that is needed is to open the eyes because already in the past he gave to you eyes to see. End of quote. The second command, you shall be married, seems to be ready to be fulfilled. And now it's up to us, God's chosen bride, to say yes to the culmination of the redemptive process. Mashiach is here and it has already been revealed, and the redemption and all of its components present before our eyes. But our bent sense of reality responds by saying, His words cannot be taken literally, and redemption is only a dream, a hope, a vision. When we see the hardships around us, we relate to that as reality. But the prophetic promise of the unfolding redemption we relate to as a dream. Torah is actually a declaration of love, Ktuba, a marriage contract of the Almighty to the Jewish people. Now he is looking for how to wake up his sleeping beauty the chosen bride, whose eyes need to open up to see the true reality of Geula. Are we afraid of intimacy with the Almighty? We used to see him in him a formidable king and a strict father. No wonder we might be frightened and overwhelmed at the thought of seeing in him a partner, confessing his love to us in the most intimate way. I came to my garden, my sister, my bride. Bati Ligani Achoti Kala. And therefore, the Torah of deliverance and redemption is the Torah of joy and love. This new Torah will come forth from me, says God. Torah Chadasha Miti Tetze. And this Torah is not only for the Jews, but for the whole world, because through Jewish people, being married to God, the world will be filled with the knowledge of, of the Lord as the waters cover the ocean bed. All that is left for, left for us to do is simply to say yes to our groom, the King of Kings. Today is exactly 31 years and 84 days since King Mashiach Lubavitcher Rebbe prophetically announced that God needs every Jew to agree, desire and proclaim Geula redemption here and now. God is still waiting for us to trust in the prophetic words of his messenger King Mashiach. Are you game? Let's dance and sing. Long live the king. Long live the king.